Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Got my glasses back from the eye doctor. It's amazing, I can see when they were made properly. I got some coffee, it is freezing. Today is Tuesday, June 13th. This will be up tomorrow. It is cold. It's 58 degrees and raining. I'm wearing a cardigan over my summer dress, for goodness sake. It's cold. Okay, so I have a Dollar Tree haul and Dollar Tree Plus. Um, for those of you in the area of me, I'm in the Pickerington area. The Dollar Tree on 256 over near Walmart is... Um, a Dollar Tree Plus now. So Canal Winchester is a Dollar Tree Plus in my area. Lancaster is a Dollar Tree Plus, and then this Dollar Tree right over here. So far, I don't, I haven't been to too many other ones to see what they're doing. Let's get started. So from the Plus section, I grabbed this. It's just badminton, but look, you get a giant birdie, and I think there's a time, and then in here. There's a little birdie, but I thought this would be super fun to take up to the pool um, for not only my family to play with, but I'll probably leave them up at the pool for the kids to play with. Um, and this was $5 and it is in the Dollar Tree Plus section, but it's cool. It's um, definitely bigger than a ba regular badminton, but it's pretty decent, sturdy, as long as we're all careful. So I grabbed that just for some summer fun also from the dollar tree plus section i found this it is stencil glow board place write erase create again so it comes with everything you need a glow board cleaning sponge glow markers stencil sheet and instructions it does require batteries that i don't know if they're included they're not included. So I need to get three double A batteries for this, but you get the stencils, you get the markers, the board. I thought it would just be fun to make a sign for my desk at work. I don't know. It just looks fun. I'm trying to see if I can pull out what the board looks like. I can. I don't have batteries in it, but it's only this large. Okay. And then the legs, come out so it does stand up and you write on that and then it glows and you have your stencils in here and markers and you can freehand it I'm sure so I grabbed this for my desk at work like I said because I think it'll be fun and this was five dollars and this was at the 256 dollar tree and it was also five dollars so I grabbed that, and then in the regular dollar section, a friend of mine that I work with at the Shaw and Steen Center, Jan, had asked me if I saw these to pick them up, but I wasn't sure which one she wanted. So I grabbed the two-pack, and it's just the Bumblebee one. I love this print. And then I got her a regular hot pad holder, because I wasn't sure which one she needed. So I got two of these. I'll take it the next event that I work with her. Oh, from the Dollar Plus section, I think this might be it. I think this is it. I grabbed this rug, right? It's just a microfiber pilly rug. But the reason I bought it, and it was $5, I think. Yeah. On the back, it is grippy. Like, it has this rubberized stuff. And I was watching a video of a gentleman who is showing how to load your kayak on top of your car and I have a kayak and it's heavy so it's hard for me to get up there by myself so he took a towel just like this with the rubber on the back laid it on his car and then he slid the kayak and this is super slippery he slid the kayak and then lifted it up onto his car by himself so that's why I got this towel or placemat well rug bath rug girl get your life together it's a bath rug uh, because I wanted to try that if it becomes warmer than 58 degrees here in Ohio I saw a couple other towel or uh, bath rugs like that but this one had the better grippy on the back look and I'm like the grippy on the back 
Um, I ran out of lighters. I know, super exciting, huh? So I grabbed two. These are great. I love them. I like them because they're long and I wear fake nails sometimes. And I love candles. So I usually just keep a stockpile of these out of my garage of this size. Or I have one right here that I also like for candles this size. So either one, but I'm down to, sorry, my nose. I'm down to just this one to light my candle. So I grabbed two more of those. Nothing exciting there. Um, I found, I had a request if I found these, the little children's cutlery in the bangles. And I did. So I grabbed those. I need to respond to your email. You know who you are. And I got to get them out in the mail to you probably this weekend. But I got to get a packing envelope to put them in. So I grabbed these. And this, I think, are plastic. Yeah, they're plastic. Um, but they're just children's cutlery. And it does says wash thoroughly with warm water, rinse thoroughly with clean water, top rack, dishwasher safe, BPA free. Uh, it is a Bengals. It's, it's for marketing results is the name of the company that put them out. So, so now I have... I gave somebody the Buckeye ones and I'll mail the Bengals ones out because I don't have any children. Um, another makeup remover towel, but this one is different shape-wise. And I want to see what this was all about. Oh, so you can like stick your fingers in it. And I will tell you, you know what this would be fantastic for in traveling? Um, I have upstairs, which I need to cut, but I have bar shampoo and bar conditioner, which I like. I do not like the Dollar Tree stuff, but the stuff that I bought at an outdoor store, I really like. I don't use it every day because it's just a pain to use. So I'm going to cut chunks off when I travel, but I could put them in here just to keep them from getting all over my bag. And if they were wet when I stuck them in here, it wouldn't matter. So I probably will do that. You could fit a bar of soap in there. But it's super soft. Also, these are good for cleaning your glasses. I have this one that I use to clean my glasses all the time. It is a little more of a different texture, but it's perfect for my glass cleaning too. I use a lot of moisturizer and I touch my eyes apparently. Um, I found these and I feel like they had them out before, but these are boot socks. So they have the little, or booty socks for winter. They have the little lace at the top and they're really soft and they're a little thicker um they were just in the regular section the brand is meninchi women's shoe size four to ten yeah and they have a good stretch to them even at the elastic top with the lace stretches yeah so i grab these i love socks which is funny because I really don't like shoes with socks, but I like socks. Figure that out. Okay. Now, I had started picking up different supplies, right, that they were bringing into the store that were more environmentally friendly. And this is absolutely one. So, it's a plastic bottle. It is deodorizing bathroom cleaner concentrate pods. Quick, easy cleanup. So, you get the spray bottle, right? But you also get... Let me pull this stuff apart. Two concentrate. So it comes with two concentrates, right? So that is, which is very bizarre to me that they're trying to be environmentally friendly, but they're putting them in pla. I don't know. But anyway, and it's a plastic bottle, not glass. But we're trying. So you pour this in here, and then you add water shake it up and now you have a cleaner but the beauty is you can continue to use this and just fit, refill it so you get two with this for a dollar 25 so in essence you're getting two bottles of cleaner and then they had a three pack of refills of this same cleaner um yeah so i was like well Shoot, I just bought five bottles of this for $2.50. I hope it works. I mean, it does. Um, 
26 ounces. So I don't, it doesn't seem to have a fill line, but I think you just put the concentrate in first and fill it to the top with water. But you know, this is going to be the only waste for five cleaning bottles. So I just, they're trying. And I, I appreciate that the Dollar Tree is trying to, um, you know, work on their carbon footprint. We all have to buy a cleaning product. And they, some of the stuff is expensive. Now I have glass bottles like these. So if I need to replace this, I can. The glass bottles are just nice because, um, especially if you're using like essential oil or something, it can break down the plastic. I picked up some makeup. This is the Flower brand, which is Drew Barrymore's company. They had a bunch of makeup at my store from different brands. I do like Flower. It is cruelty-free. So I try to stick with those brands that are. Well, maybe I'll get it open. Try not to break my nail. Um, I was hunting for those Lee Press or the Kiss Press-Ons, the ones that were like the daisy and the orange and different ones. These are not from the Dollar Tree, but these are Kiss Press-Ons. Um, I saw everybody had found the fun printed ones, like the rainbow or pastels. I didn't find any of those. I've only found the, there was some, they were neutral. I never found enough there. I was just trying to open it. Oh, that color. It's Miracle Matte Lip. Should I put it on and try it? Why not? Hmm, that's dark. That'll be nice in the winter time. It's a little dark for me, but I'm not mad. I like it. We'll just blot it a little bit. Tone it down just a bit. Oh, I like it. That's pretty color. Cruelty free, like I said. And um, yeah, it's called Miracle Matte Lip. The color is dark and stormy. That's the color. I think it's pretty. I like it. I will definitely wear that. I picked up some more of their resin. This stuff works great, guys. And for $5, two bottles, you can't really go wrong. So I picked up two more bottles of that. And to do a project, I'm going to try putting down, like, painting these, putting down some stickers maybe, and then flooding it with resin and letting it sit. Probably what I will do is put hot glue around the bottom just to make sure it doesn't seep through. But I thought, and they had nesting sizes, so I thought these were super cute. But I would, what I like about this size is I can put it on my end table and my stitchy stuff like threads and needles and stuff can sit in here and easy for cleanup and picking up at the end of the night. Also, if you do resin, you can use it as like a coaster. I grabbed two of those. That is not a new product, but there's a lot of new stuff in here. Um, oh, I grabbed this. It's a mini manicure set with case. I do have a plane ride coming up in July for a long weekend. And it's always nice to have any type of manicure set or these types of things handy. Oh, I like it. Okay, I'm obsessed already. You have tweezers, a nail picker thingy, some scissors, and clippers. But they all fit in this little tiny whoop, hold on in this little tiny kit if I can close it there we go they all fit in this little tiny kit and honestly if I were traveling and stitching or knitting I wouldn't even need to bring other scissors because I have some of these that I use when I travel and they work great tweezers works great this is like some dig it under your nails I probably wouldn't use that and then clippers and they had them in different colors, but I think this is fantastic to keep in your purse. If you're like me, the only thing I wish it had is a nail file. 
It doesn't have a nail file, but that's okay. But I will keep this totally in my purse. Because I'm if things get snaggly or weird, I'm a, I need it fixed immediately. Um, I just grabbed one of these. I love these. I do like to replace them fairly frequently. I mean, it really depends what I'm putting in it. But if I do a lot of like salad dressing, mayonnaise, um, that kind of stuff in here, then I like to replace them, you know, on the regular consistency. And they're for condiments, but they have a nice big opening. Now, I will tell you what else they are really good for if you are on the move is um, shampoo, conditioner. I put Dawn dish soap in one and took it with me when I went to a hotel and I was going to have my coffee cups and knew that I would want to wash things. So they're also good for that. And what I did in that situation is I put it on tight. I lifted, or no, I think I screwed it. I put a piece of like cello wrap or saran wrap over it and screwed it on. And then I usually put them in a zip bag in case they spill. But this is like a perfect travel size for moisturizers, uh, face wash. Yeah, they have, it's silicone. They have a nice big opening for filling and they don't really leak. So keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling this summer, camping. Great to keep your dish soap in for camping or anything where you're going to need to bring some little bit of liquids. And it's definitely less than three ounces. So that's perfect. Um, I bought this. I love these little magazines. It's called Junk Over. And it just gives you some ideas what you can do with junk that you find at thrift stores around your house. These are all drawer pulls. Um, how to redo a chair. So like you can hang stuff from it. It's just really neat. Or actually they just made a chair out of junk wood. And it's taking stuff that you may have around your house and revitalizing it. So I love these little magazines and they're super fun to just take a little look at and get your kind of imagination going, which is fantastic. I picked these up. So I need to do some research on them and I didn't at the time. They are made in America. These are dog treats, and they are called Safe Hide Wonder Snacks made with, oh, Safe Hide. So what they do is, it's like rawhide, except for they cook it and they clean it, and they grind it up, so it's whipped rawhide. So it's easier to digest for the animals. So it has beef hide, glycerol, liquid smoke, potassium sorbate, vitamin E, vitamin C, peanut butter flavor, caramel. I mean, I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to look it up before I, and this is apple peanut butter flavor, but before I give it to a dog, I mean, it's, it's soft and pliable. So it's definitely not a raw hide for sure. I mean, it, it's bendable. So it's not rawhide, which I know is not good for animals because they can't digest it. But I think this is cooked and ground up and whipped. So we'll see. I will look this up and see if that is something that I can give to my brother's dog. Guys, I got a lot of stuff in here. I found these brand new. Now, they have suction cups on the back. Stick them to your mirror and this holds your makeup brushes. All your different sizes of makeup brushes. You can have them hanging right on your mirror. And then that, if you wash them or something, they can dry. So I grabbed one for me and I grabbed one for Sarah because I had not seen these before. They came in this color, I think a purple or a teal and black. So I went with a light pink. No, I think it was light pink, dark pink and black maybe. But... um. Yeah, they have suction cups, so they'll stick right to your glass. I'm also wondering, no, I don't think so. If you could like circle it around like a glass or something, I don't think so. But it says it holds up to 15 makeup brushes. Some suction cups attach easily to smooth surface like mirrors, tiles, and marble. So I grabbed two and we're gonna try those out and tell you how they work. 
Oh, I found these. I had to open one because I needed to see. I have seen these little fidget toys in a larger size, right? They're just little... 3D printed little caterpillars. They're connected together, but you can manipulate them. The bigger ones are more fiddly than this, but oh my gosh, they're adorable. Um, it's a little caterpillar, but it's also like a fidget toy. Thought those were fun, and I need stuff for my office for like a little, I call them my life altering prizes. And I put them in like a little goodie box. And if people, we have a game or something and they win, my adult employees love these little things. But I love it. It feels almost like a rattlesnake tail almost. But I could totally like fidget with this all day. But So I grabbed two of these. Because that's how we roll. I, oh, I have, here's the other one that I bought. So I picked up two of those for my travel bags for my cousin niece or cousin her daughter and I I grabbed three of these Corel um, this is ultra healing intensive lotion for extra dry tight skin so for hands and face especially on the plane at the beach so I grabbed three of these for us each to have one and they are one ounce a piece so I can we can carry them on the plane. So I thought that was in poor contact. Um, oh, I grabbed one of these. These were pretty good. I got this for the side of my refrigerator to hold my aprons. So I got a clear one. It says it holds up to five pounds. My aprons don't weigh five pounds, but I needed a big hook. So, and I like that on um, this one has the removable in case I wanna take it off. I use these fairly regularly. Nothing too dramatically exciting there. Okay, we have a couple things and then two little fun things. I got to go with the resin. Last time I got the bracelets, this time I found a sphere. So it will make a circle. I know. So let's see. I don't know if I can take it out. It's all sealed up. Well, maybe. Maybe. Wait, here. I think I got it. Okay. Might as well. So it does come apart into two pieces, but I think what you do have to check out the directions and watch other videos but there's a hole in the top that you can pour your resin in to fill it up I will probably fill it up a little bit like this let it sit up a little bit and then turn, put the lid on and fill it the rest of the way so that I can get the bubbles out yeah it makes a ball a sphere if you will um, they had this shape, they had diamonds, and they had square. I went with the circle. I don't know why. I just thought it was fun. So I got that. Um, I found these little wooden die cuts, but they had them painted. So this came with six owls, and I liked the color. And then they had um, birds. Super colorful birds. And I love that they added, um, here, let's take our thumbnail while we're sitting here. We'll do the dog treats and these. Um, I like that they added the paint to those. And you get two of each. So two pink, two blue, two red. Parrots or some type of bird. I don't really know what kind of bird it is. And then I am obsessed with these owls. Look at that. Like, I almost want to make a necklace out of it or a pin. I'm going to do something with these, but I love them. So I grabbed those. I got a calligraphy pen. A calligraphy pen. They have all different. You get two ink. I think two. Yeah. You get two inks and the pen with the calligraphy tip. What? I haven't tried it yet. Um, they had all different designs, but I grabbed it when I saw this. I thought that would be super fun. And then I picked up, 
These are window markers. I've seen other people haul them. I was pretty excited when I saw them at my store. I don't know what the tech, I don't know what the, I don't know what it is. Is it like a dry erase marker? I mean, you can write on plastic. I'm assuming you have to let it dry so we won't touch it. But it does come with all the colors. And it says features. Is there a white in it? There's white. Washable. It's not in English, guys. Uh, there's a lot of languages on here. And I don't see English as one of them. But washable window marker for all glass surfaces. There we go. How fun. If you've got some littles, like grandkids or children, and sliding glass doors, hello. That's a party right there. This and a sliding glass door, and later you get a hose, and you just wash it off. Perfect. I don't know how long it takes to dry. Oh, very quickly. It's dry. Nice. That's fun. And then for my pottery class, so I'm not taking a pottery class this summer. We're going to go in the fall. We've already signed up, and that class is uh, hand building. So this I know is for fondant, but these little round ends will help me clean my seams up and stuff and texturize. I mean, it's fondant, clay, whatever. So I got this to throw in my pottery kit. Why not, right? Now, I grabbed two. Look at the shadows. It's so dark out. Things here. Um, this one is frozen. Collect them all. And I think they're stuffies. And really what I want is um, Olaf or the... Uh, who, do I, who is it that I want? Not Olaf. What's the other character? The deer or whatever he is. I mean, I'll probably get a human and that's okay too. Sven. Maybe I'll get Sven. Sorry, I had to cut. This is hard. I oh, know. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get in here without... The one drawback to fake nails, guys, is, um, and these are medium length, so I don't have a lot of stability, I suppose, on the end. Okay, so this is Frozen, Olaf, Sven, I can't remember what the darn animal's name is, but fun. <gasps> what did I get? I got a blue bag. They're blind bags. This is fun too. I might keep this. Just a steer for the holidays. Okay, who do we think it is? Oh, I can already see. It's either Anna or Elsa. I think it's Anna. I think it's Anna. Which is cute. Yep, it's Anna. Aw, hers cute. I love it. She is adorable with her little dress on and she's a little stuffy. Oh, cute. I was hoping for Olaf, but I'll take Anna. And then this is Squishmallow Squishvilles. I'm trying to cut the plastic here. Don't ask me what I'm using as scissors. I mean, I'll tell you if you really want to know. They are... Um, my cat clippers here. I have nail clippers right here. Those were my, I couldn't get a good grip on this one. Nail clippers. This one here is a Squishmallow. These were both $5. Um, hmm. There we go. Oh, if you just squeeze it, it pops the plastic. Um, and I think these are different cats if I have to guess. Let's see. Or not. Oh, yeah. There are cats in outfits, but look at that. I love that. 
Um, I don't know what's happening here. They're wearing a little blanket or a little outfit of some sort. Ah, I got the black cat. Yes, I did. And then this little outfit or hoodie. I, I'm going to say it's a hoodie. Oh, but I got the black cat. Yay. I don't know if he has a name. It's a Squishmallow. And he's wearing a hoodie. And if you take the hoodie off, we'll call him Alex. All right, guys. Well, that is everything I purchased at the Dollar Tree the last week. I hope you enjoyed this pretty big haul and I will talk with you later. Bye.